Hey guys, what's going on? Stupid player negative eight E. I'm playing Death Salicate, and why? I will explain. Let's go. So I've I noticed that it's damp in here. Shit. All right, we're gonna have to speed run this shit. Um. So um. No, what I was what I was thinking is okay and good. There's piranhas. Great. We need to speed run the flip out of this. Is that, uh, on Unholy, they got rid of Reincarnation, right? So, you know, that was the nerf tonight, and I, I, it was needed. Now I think Knight is in, like, a perfect place. I don't think he needs to be touched. Whatever. Hmm. Um, so, you know, it, it's cool. I, I like that. Now, I went Death's Allocate, because the thing that they replaced reincarnation with is second chance and second chance allows or basically what it does is you can't die unless you're at zero HP so I'm at one HP so if I get if I take a hit I'll be at zero so that means I'll get two hits with death's allocate and I'll also still be able to have this like massive damage bonus that you get from Death's Allocate, but also be a two hit. And then on top of that, I'll also have the invincibility afterward, assuming I get past the levels with Second Chance, uh, which, you know, uh, I go fuck myself, that's not gonna happen probably. But you know, if it does, we end up getting to the last holy level, we'll be able to tank bosses and destroy their lives. And we'll be able to take, a, a basically destroy, I, I, I don't know, basically just destroy the game. Every enemy in the game should die to my hands. Assuming that I play it smart and I don't get attacked by spiders, you know, the, the, that jazz. Also, I'm looking for coins seem to heal injuries. I've been doing a couple practice runs and it feels like coins heal injuries is the best way to go about doing things because first of all, you don't die, right? Uh, second of all, um, you, when you reach zero, all you have to do is defeat, like, a couple things and get a couple coins and then you'll trigger the coin healing. Okay, let's go. Can you guys come up here, dude? Not you. You are not who I wanted to come up here. There we go. Perfect. Done. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Let's get, get this Gorgon Eye to be stupid. Awesome. All right. Oh my goodness. I, this takes so much more concentration. You know, you know what I realized through doing this whole YouTube thing? It's it's definitely an experience. If you if you ever want to start a YouTube channel, I would definitely recommend it because it gets you. Ooh, I don't I didn't want to kill that. It gets you a lot better at like conversation. For for the longest time, before we go in that door, for the longest time, it's always been like I can't talk at all to people, and you know it's it's. I I'm still like that to a way. Like I'm still kind of nervous around people, and I'm pretty awkward. Ooh, that's so freaking disturbing. But uh, defense doesn't matter to me. It subtly increases weapon range. That matters to me. Luminous is awesome. Uh, but you know, it's gotten me so much better at coming up with conversational skills. Cause it, when you're doing YouTube, you need to like come up with things on the spot while also playing a game, while also talking to uh, like a hundred people that you don't know, uh, which is, you know, it's something that I've, I don't think I, if someone told me like, oh, you're going to be speaking in front of a hundred people and you know, you're by yourself. I'm okay. So I'm a tuba player. Obviously I go up on stage and I, I play the tuba. It's something that I have done pretty much since like, when did I start? I, I started in high school, like at the very beginning of high school. Shit. Okay.
Really, dude? There we go. I was hoping that would work. It worked on the last level. I'm taking very uh, a ton of risks with uh, what I'm doing here. And we got worm boss. Should worm boss should be easy. I'm hoping, right? Like you hope. But uh, I don't know. It's just gotten me better at coming up with conversation. If uh, I, I I play in a band, right? So I, I'm I'm okay with going up in front of a bunch of people. I can go up in front of two million people as long as I have someone there with me, right? Does that make sense? So like if I'm if I'm alone on stage, that's frightening as all balls. If I have at least one other person there. That's way less frightening to me. I, I actually don't think that's frightening at all. If you have a teammate up there with you, you, you know, just kind of bouncing off. It's almost like a lifeline, like a support, right? Like, okay, let's just run away. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this. Okay, hopefully he doesn't randomly. Okay. Whew. That should be the last time, and then we'll get him to come over here, and then destroy his life. Alright, um, now that I'm done concentrating on Worm Boss, so, y you know, it's like a support lifeline. If you, if you go up on stage by yourself, everybody's looking at you, like there's nothing you're going to be able to do. Is it damp in here again? It's not damp in here, is it? It's not damp. This is terrible. I don't appreciate this at all. Whew. Oh, Lord. Um, but, uh, I don't know. Going up by myself is just terrible. It's, it's, it's a weird form of straight stage fright, right? Like, it's not that I have stage fright. It's that, ooh, this man tried to come up while I was in my inventory. Sounds like Dark Souls or some shit. That's what happens at Dark Souls all the time. You're like, ooh, let me go to my inventory. No, now is a bad time because freaking Skeleton McGee over here decides that he wants to freaking wreck your life for some reason. Strength. Versus this, yeah. Yeah, that works out. It gives me an intelligence, but I don't really need that. Uh, dexterity subtly increases weapon reach plus the defense wall phasing. I like the dexterity increased weapon reach. It always looks like an invisible wall to me, but I don't know if it is. Because why would you put a spike in a wall? It makes no sense to me. Oh, fairy underwater. I hate this guy. I hate him so much. I hate those fire guys. I hope that I can pick up fairy underwater. I don't... My controller... I don't know if it's just my controller or if it's just, like... Uh, something to do with the game, but I cannot pick up fairy underwater. It like I press all the buttons and then I can't even remap my things. I even press the button on the keyboard for pickup. Nothing, like nothing, picks up fairy underwater. So hopefully I'll be able to do it this time. No, see you, you just swim, swim down. <sighs> it's dumb. Coins seem to heal injuries. Oh, that's key. That's key to this plan. Okay, Whew. all right, so I have one key. I have poison resist also on that, which means I'm at three poison resist, which means the force is going to be no joke. Oh, yes. All I have to do is survive till this level. This is the last level. I don't even, I don't even need fairy. I don't know why I decided that I wanted fairy just now, because I don't even need her, because, you know, I have one health, and Death Delicate doesn't allow you to have any more than one health. Oh, that is awesome. Boom. Second chance. Alright, so now I'll take two hits to die, so I'm safer as long as I don't run into those fucking fire guys. I hate those freaking bug fire guys that run and, like, blow up and do 50 damage to you in one hit. It's so stupid. They should really be like a, like a forced thing. Cool. 
Oh, this slime really tried. He was really trying. Alright, so coin seem to heal injury is key to this plan because when you take the hit, uh, you're screwed, right? You you can't take another hit. And this is gonna be weird to me. Everything I hate is right here. We have a piranha that's waiting to bite our butt. Mm -hmm. mm. This whole situation is very tiresome. We're going to need to wait for the right moment, I'm sorry. Uh, so, <sighs> fuck. We're allowed to take one hit, which means we can't take a hit from the piranha. The piranha will instantly kill us. Instantly. That guy's dead. I'm actually very happy about that. I didn't even realize that I had my, my ranged attack. Kill him. Jump across. Boom. Open the chest. Done. Let's think about our actions. <laughs> um, you know, I don't care about any of that. What does that say? That's lifesteal, though. It'll be good for Golem Boss, too, so let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. Good, good. I'm super glad that happened. Okay. Got this fire one now. We got a decent amount of strength. What's my strength right now? Uh, it, it doesn't tell me with this allocate. Like, I want to know. Like, I, I know I have 50, or I'm doing 52 damage, so it's obviously not the the same 54 damage right now just kill him because he's obviously oblivious to everything that's happening man has no idea okay This, this slime is really trying. He was really trying. I'm playing this the safest thing that I can ever play it, dude. You you will not believe how safe I am playing this right now. Okay, this is going to be not very safe. Good. 104 damage. That's crazy. 52 damage. That's insane. <laughs> I'm guessing it's 10 more than whatever our strength is. There we go. Timing that Gorgon Eye hit. Oh, thank you. Suddenly increases weapon reach. Thank you for that. Suddenly increases weapon reach is really good. I don't know about subtly. That was that was pretty intense. There we go. Watch out for watch out for arrow traps. I see that arrow trap over there, so I'm not gonna attempt to trigger it or anything. Suddenly increases weapon reach. Pulling through. Pulling through for us once again. Done. Freaking get out of here with your boss music. Douche, douche, douche. Stupid. No one cares. Uh, we're doing well. Uh, second chance. Uh, we haven't used it once, I don't think. There's the door. This is right when I say I'm doing well, right? Okay, here we go. We just can't get insta killed, I guess.
There we go. I don't I don't honestly care about that chest. I <laughs> there there could have been better ways for me to like this is an invisible block down here. So if I can hit this, it, it would uh, it would disappear and then I would be able to go down. It's the way that room works. Um and I think I'm done here. Plus another strength is always good. I'd rather go with the the strength there. Uh, wall phasing, defense, we're doing so well. Oh, I'm so glad. Alright, so here's here's where it gets hard. Here's where it gets hard. So we have second chance, which is awesome. That means we'll be able to hit the the be able to get hit twice. We will also be able to defeat most bosses, assuming we can get enough hits in. The problem here is we don't have like reflex projectiles or anything crazy like that. So Spriggans and uh, spiders might be a problem, but we have three poison resist, so they'll be less of a problem. And I, th I, th I say we just go up and just start attacking Golem Boss. Do we have a faster weapon? Maybe like a like a claw or something. Yeah, let's just let's just go in hard. And that's what happens when you go in hard. That's what happens right there. Freaking this is exactly what I'm talking about. Now we all now all we have to do is leave. We we all get the chest and leave. That's going to be the theme here, right? Like it's not going to be defeat everything. It's going to be Even the arrows will kill us, so we gotta be very careful. We're doing really well. Coins seem to heal us, so even if we take a hit from the arrow, we'll be able to survive and then heal off of coins. Oh, I love it. We should probably just leave, but there's shopkeeper over here, and I really want to see what he has. Ring of Zygox would be the most helpful here. Let's uh, get rid of something. Uncurse. Let's get rid of something good. Magic mapping. Alright, what? Where is this ring that I just picked up? There it is. Uh, oh, ring of the other one is, is the one I'm thinking of. Hey dude, too bad you suck. We haven't found any spiders yet, which is uh, A-OK -okay with me. Boulder protection? We're past the point of boulders right now. I mean, we, we there's some boulders in the catacombs. I don't know. We, we could think about it for the swoopers in the fourth level, right? I'm thinking they're the same. They'll just break over our heads. Right? Let's, let's, let's try it out. We don't, do we not have a headpiece yet? I don't think we have a headpiece yet. We already have a perfect uh, piece of armor. So I don't want to risk, you know, we have uncursed, we do. So you know what, let's just do it. Attackers will get pushed back. Not as good as coins will heal. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get rid of that too. I think there's a smithy over here actually. Yeah, there is. So we can get rid of some stuff, maybe get some new stuff. I don't even know if it'll give us anything good, but you know, we could try it out. This is the best way to play Death's Allocate, by the way. I've decided. You can't... Death's Allocate is, is really hard, but if you get second chance and you get... Stupid. No one wants that. I'm already, I'm already at one. Why would I want another one? Did I not use a key on the last one? I don't think I used a key on the last one. That's okay. I mean, it doesn't matter to me because freaking the later levels have better items anyway. You miss out on potions, sure, but glassmade actually might be helpful. Yeah, I'm gonna keep glass blade. I'm gonna keep the sword for regular enemies, but then when we fight bosses, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the glass blade. Glass blade should still do the same amount of damage, but also give us you know, a decent amount of um, uh, attack speed as well. So, 
Uh, is there anything else, really? Uh, I think I just have potions and arrows. Oh, well. I don't know. I don't even need fire wand. Freaking, I took fire wand for golem, but... Obviously, I don't need it. Okay, so this is where shit gets real. Fuck. Damn it. Um, it's 20 minutes and I don't want to do a whole 40 minute run if I end up doing it again. Oh no. Oh, that was a good run. I mean, we... Uh, you saw that I took 100 damage and I took another 100 damage. So obviously that means that we die in one hit. Uh, we die in two hits or whatever. I should have activated invincibility right there. And then proceeded to do... Because you can only do one damage to the head no matter what. Which is why it kind of sucks. Damn it. Oh, I knew it was coming to... Thank you guys for watching. I fucking... Mmm, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. That, that's part of the reason why... Mmm... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we did have one health, though. Yeah, fuck. It's... Yeah, it's fine. That's depressing. I, you know, it, it feels like... Remember, you guys... For those of you that have been watching... I don't know if anybody's been watching that long, but I a long time ago, I, I blinked myself into a wall, and I just could not I was so depressed I was the most depressed person and uh, it's that same feeling it's that same feeling right now oh I had such a good run going and I could have prevented that mm. we try this again I think we try this again this has been fun honestly freaking finding ways to like mess with the game this way like still do a whole bunch of damage but also get that second chance i would recommend trying this out for yourself if you have vagante i would have gotten farther but you know you, uh, this requires that you don't take damage on the first like couple floors so it, you know it'll be hard for, for a lot of people but at the same time once you get to late game it's it's almost like wildling level craziness like you saw how fast we just took down golem boss that's insane that that was insane anyway thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you feel necessary because i upload a lot of stuff like this and i hope you guys are having the best rest of your day peace out guys